Welcome back to the Barstool Shopping, Shopping Network. It's the Christmas Spectacular. No, that Kyle didn't say Holiday no. Spectacular because this is a Christmas special. It's not inclusive. You celebrate Hanukkah, turn this off, and get back to running the world. And if you celebrate Kwanzaa, uh, what you... This couldn't have possibly come up on your recommended videos. No, 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 no. This is a Barstool video, so we'll, we'll give you time to click off. All right, perfect. We have a ton of products for you guys today, and I don't want to speak for you, but we both love all of these products. All of them. Every single one, and just in time to buy gifts for next year's Christmas. That's right, our shipping department isn't the best. Mm -hmm. Today we're starting off with one of my favorite brands. It's Duke Cannon. Duke Not to be confused with Buchanan, the first gay president who died in office. He may have been asexual. Mm. Not to be confused with Nick Cannon, who gets people pregnant and has lupus. We're talking about Duke or Cannon. Or Cannon and D, which could get somebody pregnant oh. if played at the right time. Duke That's Duke Cannon. Like Daniel Jones' arm. Is he the, is he the best Duke quarterback? Probably the only one that's known. They have an array of amazing products, but I think we should start with the bar soap. The lump of coal, the big ass lump. That's right, like rectal cancer. An ass lump. An ass lump, a big ass lump of coal. And Rest in peace, Patrick Swayze. That was pancreatic. That's close enough to the ass. How else would you describe ass cancer? Re colon cancer. Yeah, that's also the ass. That's how Powell died. Ugh. Anyways, this is the black bar. That's what would go over KB's little tiny penis if he got naked on this program. Yep, a still a bar. Ball. Yours would be a dot. A microscopic dot, invisible to the human eye. A little black dot, but you can't see it unless you use advanced technology <laughs> to censor your penis. You can't put the whole thing in there? No, that's weak. But this do can, and it comes from a simpler time when men were men and men were also nine-year-old breaker boys working 14-hour shifts in Pennsylvania coal mines, manually separating large chunks of sediment until they were crushed to death and their lifeless, gutless bodies were retrieved from machinery gears by their much older adult supervisors. This is the product that came from that era. You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just about mm. to say that. Do Kyle, you couldn't fit the black bar in your mouth, and we don't have the white one, which is significantly smaller and less girthy. What's this smell like to you? It smells damn good. Yeah. Like a hard-working man. Yeah. It's masculine, and it comes in bergamot and black pepper scents. And this is based in the U.S. of A. Their headquarters is in Minneapolis until that gets eventually burnt down. But look at this. This is the perfect gift. Give it to a loved one. It'll take their breath away. Bye, George. The emphasis on that was strange. Try that again. Mm. You give this product to a loved one, they will be so surprised and spitting it'll take their breath away. By George, it'll take their breath away. That was significantly better. That is than a the common expression. That's how you express joy in the times where men were men and boys were men. Kyle, this soap was inspired by the soap that the troops used in the Korean War. It says that right here, inspired by the GIs during the Korean War, and nobody prioritized personal hygiene more than Douglas MacArthur's troops when they were storming Incheon to decimate thousands of civilians. That's exactly right. Kyle, how much would you pay for this bar? I would pay $9 for this bar. You're lucky because that's the exact price. $9 bar? Yes. Like a freshman getting scammed for Xanax. That's exactly right. Those should be seven, kids. Five. You can get them for five? Five dollars for a bar? Oh, easily. Oh, it smells like mischief and shenanigans. When you come home from cheating on your spouse, you hop in the shower and you'll come out and you'll smell like mischief. She won't suspect a thing. <laughs> Honey, you smell like mischief. That's right. You weren't out been. doing anything crazy. Oh, I haven't yeah. been in any other pussies, my you dear. You weren't dear. philandering? Certainly not. Certainly not, my you dear. Weren't. It's just the Duke Cannon, big ass lump of coal like bar soap. Which I swear. Can you break this? It's kind of tough. Yeah. Can't break it. Kyle, put that down because we're moving on to our next Duke Cannon product. We have the thick in a box. Mm -hmm. Now, they did spend years doing this because this is back when the Lonely Island was popular. Yeah. 2007, this when Dick in a Box came out. Well, yeah, we're still making those jokes. We're still making the box jokes. What do you like in the shower? Thick or thin? Thick. 
Kyle, mm -hmm. thick in a box for me is whenever I'm sleeping with my girlfriend. <laughs> Isn't a box another name for a pussy? Yeah, it is, yeah. Let's take a peek inside, should we? Right. Wow, Mary Thickness. <laughs> That's, what it, That's says. what it says. I would never say that on my own accord. We wish you a merry thickness. We wish you a merry thickness. We wish you a merry thickness. Thickness. <laughs> Saint Nick, more like ain't thick. Shut because up. nothing is holding that fanny pack up. You have an inverted anus. I'm surprised it's staying up. That's right, it's concave like a bowl. Kyle. Look at this. Best That's, damn beer. Yeah, uh, you just jumped to the next product. That's not quite necessary. Okay, well, I'm, yeah. I got antsy. Let's look over it. Let's look I'm at overwhelmed, this. Overwhelmed, overstimulated. <laughs> Very overstimulated. I need like a blanket to chew on. Because this is manly. And nothing's more manly and straight than a viscous product. Viscosity! Upgrade! Than a viscous liquid yes. that you're rubbing all over mm. your body. I don't want my body wash to drip down me. I want it to slowly ooze down my body, like a syrup. Like a syrup, and Kyle, this is masculine. This isn't like any body wash. This is more like a caulk. And what's mm. better than a thick caulk yeah. cleaning out your ass? That's a thick caulk just in your ass. A real thick caulk. It's not a liquid, it's a caulk. It's right, it's, oh my what God. it smell like? It smells, it smells thick. Usually like odors smell like other scents or things. This smells like an adjective, like thick. This smells like an adjective and you can do the Dairy Queen Blizzard flip. Look how thick that is. They don't do that anywhere else. It's the Dairy Queen mm -hmm. of hygiene. Look at this. Okay, I wanna try it again. Yeah, try it again, yeah. try it again. I'm winning. Yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this. Oh, I thought squeezing it would like. <laughs> I'm not doing that. What are you doing that, what are you doing that for? Mm -hmm. Why are you doing that? This is so masculine. Fellas, when you're washing with this and a girl tries to get in the shower, kick her the fuck out. Get out of my shower. I'm waiting for the boys to get in here <laughs> with this thick, thick syrup. Oh yeah. And what's the sense here? What are the odors we're getting? It's bourbon oak mm, barrel. Bourbon oak barrel. And that's ex exactly what I'm yeah. getting. It's, that's an accurate description. And, Everybody wants to smell like booze. Yeah, you'll smell like Mark Twain after a post tuck thin bender. Or your dad when he got pulled over. That was a bad Christmas for you guys. Uh -huh. Officer, it's just the body wash, I swear. Then how'd that boy get under the tire? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. It's a scent that blends notes of tobacco and amber. Tobacco and amber. That's right. Like Johnny Depp after a sex-fueled cigarette bender. With his now ex. Now ex. That's, that's she one everybody will get immediately. Yeah, she, well, she, she shit in his bed. My God. And when I look at you now, I mm -hmm. smell that scent and I get an amber alert, Kyle. When I look at you, uh -huh. it's an amber it alert. Like that's wood. the vibes you put off. Wood and amber, wood and amber alert. Like a, a stolen child in the back of a station wagon. That's right. That's enough about our body. Well, no, no, Nick, Nick, this is a cruelty-free product. Cruelty-free? It's never been tested on animals. Okay. Unlike me, this animal who just got tested. For what? For AIDS. That's right. Mm -hmm. And we're still waiting on the results. It could go either way. And that's anything if you think about it. <laughs> I've never really put myself in an AIDS situation. Yeah, well, sometimes you're in a dilemma and it can go one way or the other. <laughs> All right, enough about your bloodborne illness. Let's move on to the next product. My personal favorite of the Duke Cannon line, the beard wash. Beard. My favorite beard wash. That's what Kenny Chesney calls hosing down his wife before he lets her into bed. Don't tell me Kenny was gay. Still is. You may be confused by this packaging. You may run downstairs on Christmas morning and see this and just be like, oh, oh man, man, a man, book? Another book? Something that's filled with infinite knowledge that has made men brilliant and has grown children into geniuses? I don't want that. I don't want another book. Oh, a beer product. Oh, yes. whoa. Yes. <laughs> yes. Trick me for a little bit. Ooh, yes. Thank God, because mm -hmm. I've been worried about this I've been growing out my beard to hide my weak Hillary Duff-esque chin. Yeah. Kyle, my head is a perfect sphere. When I roll over in bed, I just go all the way onto the ground. There's nothing to stop me. But now, I have a beard, I grow it out, it hides my weak chin, and I don't know where I'm going with this yeah. at all. Yeah.
You're kind of making it about your own insecurities when this should be about your beard. Making it clean, making it more masculine, making it smell good, taste better, feel amazing. We guarantee your beard will look just like Dan Bilzerian. Except without the purchase pussy thighs wrapped around it. <laughs> and you can get this for just $24 at DukeCannon.com along with all the other Duke Cannon products. Kyle, what if I told you the next product's on me right now? It's in your pouch? It's in my pouch. That's just a standard army knife. No, no, no. This is a Swiss army knife. The most standard kind. No, no, no. Yeah. This is different. It has all kinds of tools. What else does it have besides a knife? A reusable toothpick. The one thing that you want to be reusable. Regular toothpicks are made of very biodegradable wood that you can just throw on the ground and they'll be gone by the next week. This one's made of plastic. A turtle will choke on this. Kyle, try to come up on me. Try. What are you gonna do? I'll fucking stab you, bitch. That's why it's called a Swiss Army knife, because that's the type of fucking cheese you'll look like if you come up on nah, me. I'll come up on you and still look like a solid hunk of monster. You, you'd never look like a monster even on a good day. At best, you're Brie, because you're feminine and soft. Me? Yeah. I'm sharp cheddar. What? Like this blade. What are the other tools inside of this Swiss Army knife? It comes with a large blade, yeah. a small blade, a can opener, three millimeter screwdriver, six millimeter screwdriver, a bottle opener, a stripper, a wire stripper, a reamer, sewing awl, Phillips screwdriver, scissors, a wood saw, a multi-purpose hook, a toothpick, tweezers, and a key ring. Where's the multi-purpose hook? MPH? I'll show you. Mm -hmm. That's not it, that's the small blade. Or maybe the, nope, this is the big blade. Is that the multi-purpose hook you think? No, that's like a, what is that? What could that be? I don't know what that, I don't know what the fuck you'd need that tool for. This has to be it. That's the scissors. Ow, fuck! Oh! You bleeded, you draw blood. Oh, okay. Oh and, and that okay. speaks to the authenticity of the product. This is usually your thing. I'm stealing your yeah, shtick. No, no. I resort to bleeding. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. You're gonna need a stitch. Jeez, oh, that yeah. is a lot of blood from the finger. Uh -huh. And it's dripping. It, uh -huh. Yeah, it is. All right, that's this is okay. Was it on the knife portion or like the, the hook? My ass got, <laughs> yeah. got cut by the tweezers. <laughs> Kyle, I need you to be calm for this, but what if I told you we had the number one kid's toy of the year right here? And this is intended for kids? That's right. We have it here? Right here in front of us. How did you get your hands on such a product? This, I have my ways. I stole it from a boy. <laughs> Every parent wants their child to grow up to be a photographer. The least creepy job in the world. Mm -hmm. The job that pays right yeah. over the poverty line. Stardom yeah. young. Yeah. I want my kid to go to college for photography. I want to flush my money down the toilet. I want my kid to go to college for photography. I want to flush my money down the toilet. Well, you can start right now because you can buy your kid a camera that's meant for kids. Get them started early. Train them to be a vain whore. And I'm a vain whore. Addicted to the needle. This is made for kids and it's made by kids in China. <laughs> Their small hands can place the parts easily. And they keep it at such a good price because they don't pay them. Why does it have two eye holes? There's games? Oh my god, this is just a this is just a Game Boy. What are you playing? Grand Theft Auto. I'm fucking a hooker right now. You like that? You know how to give a girl a ride. I'm fucking a hooker right now. I'm running them over with a vehicle. Yeah, get your money back after you bust in them. I'm trivializing killing whores. This is fun. We're getting distracted, but this camera has games. It's the VTech Kitty Zoom digital camera. It's only $34.96. It comes with 40 plus camera effects. It is the perfect camera gift. It's the perfect gift in general. Kyle, what am I what am, what am I holding right now? You're holding the VTech Kitty Zoom digital camera. I said it once, I'll say it again to you to answer your question. But this the, is made by VTech? Yes, the picture, the cap, it's very accurate, very precise. And if anyone knows getting the perfect shot, it's VTech. That's right. Ooh. Ooh, I agreed to that without understanding the joke. They're a long-running, very established uh, camera brand. 
VTech. Finally, somebody combined photography with children. The two <laughs> things. <laughs> Finally, somebody was smart enough to combine photography with children. Yeah. The two mm. things that have always meshed mm. seamlessly. Peanut butter and jelly. That's right. Two things that go perfectly together. That's right. Uh huh. And what does it require? Any assembly? None. Just four AA batteries. Four batteries like Floyd Mayweather. Four AAs like Amy Adams, Aziz Ansari, Andre Agassi, and Asa Akira. Woo! The most progressive force. I mean, it would check every category. That's my dream dinner, mm -hmm. and I could capture it all with this. Boop. Quit that. Boop. Yo, yo, motherfucker, say cheese. <laughs> What the heck? This is really nice. Like, out of character, I'm gonna drop the shtick. I really yeah, like these this, man. Bad. Yeah, I like the colors and the design, the original design. That's right, and this is Champion uh -huh. brand, so don't don't film this. I just need to... Yeah, this right. is Champion brand, yeah, so this is really nice. Yeah. You can wash it a bunch. It's this still... won't be funny for, like, you know, like the video. But... No, no, this won't be funny at all. This is just Do really good. I have nothing... It fits perfect. Yeah, my god. And I just accidentally put on like a different size and it still fit perfect. And this one fits perfect as well. Really? So, so it, just, it just fits, it fits everyone everybody. perfectly regardless, yeah. Yeah, my god, I'd pay what? It's a three hundred, four hundred dollars? It's only forty eight. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't even think we can make any jokes about this. And it's not like too, it's kind of like skateboardy hip, but yeah. not like too much in your face. No, no, no. I think and, it can go for any occasion. Yeah. For the people saying that, oh, this is just the Santa Cruz logo stolen, one, don't don't fact check that. Mm -hmm. And two, no, it's not. No, no, no it's right. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe it was parallel thinking that they had sixty years before us. You ever think about that? Mm -hmm. They didn't. Mm -mm. I mean, I have no. I can't. We can make fun of anything, but like this—that is, that is like our best trait. Our best trait is throw anything fun. in our face. It can be mundane. It All can right. be complex, <laughs> and we will make fun of it appropriately. You guys finally well, got us. Been I hope you're happy. Yeah, I guess we're not infallible. I guess we're not perfect at our craft. Yeah, people are going to be really disappointed in us, but mm -hmm. I got nothing to say. Yeah. Usually I would make fun of how you look, something that you look like that would be like uh, problematic or offensive to you, but no, you look all right. I'm as straight yeah. as they come and I think you look fuckable. I, yeah. What about me? You look fuckable. What? Yeah, I guess we just like, uh, I guess but we I don't want to like sexualize. It's, it's a cool it's garment. A cool yeah, garment. you just it's, look cool. Yeah. I don't want to like rock it. We can like I guess keep this in I the video. I hate complimenting you. It's so I weird. Guess, and like, I guess. Yeah, no, be funny. actually cut most of this. Yeah. I actually yeah, cut all of it. It's not well, us. If we have a time limit, I guess we have to throw this in, but I have nothing. Let's just move on to the next product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I just Right. <sighs> Damn, they need to give us stuff we can clown. I got nothing. Kyle, what I'm holding right now is the bionic ear sound enhancer. <laughs> This is perfect to catch your wife cheating on you with a man who doesn't waste his money on dated tech. But the yeah. good thing about this is you're guaranteed to get it in the divorce. <laughs> I feel like talking about this yeah. just, it, it isn't gonna do it justice. No. Let's go test Let's it. Let's test it out. Let's test it. Box the lights here. Yeah. Tuesday, damn near the end of the week. I think Billy's like typing or something. 
He doesn't even notice me. I'm hearing him. I hear exactly what he's saying. It's like he's right there in front of me. What do you do? He doesn't even notice what? me. What type of gun is that? Is it a bird watching tool? <laughs> yeah. You're good. You're good. You can handle the frequency. Can you hear Oh my god. Yeah. That's wild. Do you want this for Christmas? How about you get this when we're done, kid? I'd use it. I'd use it to listen to Ben Mintz. Yes, you can hear him wall. chewing yeah. on a Toblerone. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, yeah. Take this afterwards and use it for that. That's funny. It's like a black light for death detectives. <laughs> I can hear the semen splattered all over your stomach lining. <laughs> this isn't your grandma's hearing aid, Kyle. And even if it was, she's fucking dead. Mm -hmm. So it's yours now. It's mine. She left your sister Give a it. bunch of money. <laughs> and you got that. Something she got from a now defunct starter image. A sharper image. A sharper image. It, it was some a sort now, of adjective yeah. image. Mm -hmm. They're done. Yeah. Luckily we still have Brookstone. Kyle, what is in front of me right now? These are the Barstool Bites. The company that brought you Guess That Ass and Guess what? They're doing food now. That does make perfect mm -hmm. sense. That is the natural progression of how blogs go. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of reading these guys and listening to their podcasts and watching their videos. Oh my God. I want to taste them too. That's right. And they gave the best bloggers, the best content employees, menu items. Right here I have Nate's three stacks of high society. That is a poker it's a play reference. on poker. These are chips. Mm -hmm. But no, three stacks of high society. That's a better name. <laughs> <laughs> you rascal. Kyle, how's that chip? Mm, it melts in my mouth like a candle. Why would you go to a restaurant where seasoned chefs are making you meals when you could get a meal from a trusted source like Marty Mush? Yeah, the chefs are good at cooking and tasting food and preparing and prepping it, but Marty Mush is good at spelling errors. <laughs> I'm wearing hats. It's the, the, the Biggie and the Biggie by Smitty. There's two Biggies. No, these are all Biggies, but that's oh, the Biggie by Smitty. Part of my big oh, others. Where's the, your confusion coming from? <laughs> Kyle, she's taken the world by storm. She's taken the hearts of America and captivated them. She's a superstar. And now she's got a sandwich. I want you to try Breeze Grilled Chicken Fry Biggie. Yeah. Let me eat that. Let you, let's have you eat that. Can we do a slow-mo shot of this? Maybe there'll be a piece of cheese that kind of lingers. Ah, oh, fuck. Some companies have had false accusations of misogyny. Barstool, they decided to flip it, and we gave the opportunity for a woman to make a sandwich. Well, what are you tasting? Describe it to me in one word. Amazing. We're not bitter about us not getting a menu item at all. Mm -hmm. Nick and KB, that's too much of a mouthful. Anyways, what is this? These are the White Sox Dave's Big Game Tender Bucket. It rolls off the tongue like a marble. Oh, White Dave, Sox Dave. Dave, your tender bucket. Oh. oh my God, you've done it again, White mm, Sox Dave, with your tender bucket. Your tender bucket. Tender bucket. Oh, mm. thank you, White Sox Dave. White Sox Dave's Chicken Tender Bucket. I don't see John Cusack having his own chicken tender bucket. Yeah, you may have millions of dollars. Yeah, you may have starred in Gross Point Blank and High Fidelity, two classic movies. And yeah, you might have the same birthday as John Elway. But guess what? You don't have a tender bucket, bitch. Mm. I have Brianna stuck in my throat and in my teeth. Give me that Swiss Army knife so I can uh, use the toothpick to get it out and then the knife to kill myself because I'm a glutton for all this good food. What a great day with a bunch of great products mm -hmm. and great friends. Kyle, it's a Christmas miracle. I'm gonna let you're gonna no, you're me covered up. in brie. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the cheese or the oh Brianna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't have any brie cheese. We made a cheese joke earlier. About, about brie mm -hmm. cheese, but now we you did have brie. Um, Kyle, I'm gonna let you sign us off. That was the Barstool Shopping Network Christmas. No asterisk, not a holiday special. It was the Christmas special. 
Thanks for tuning in. If you made it this far, what? I don't know. Uh, nobody will. Doesn't matter. We don't. Yeah. Sign-offs don't yeah. matter. Yeah, they do not matter.